Hi guys, D here. Rescuing some more terrain. This time we're going to the Ash Wastes. Haven't been there in a while. We've got uh, FDM prints from my buddy Mike again. Uh, he keeps producing terrain for me to take care of here. And you know, I don't mind videoing it and painting it up and getting it ready. Um, yeah, this time we're putting them on individual tiles. It's gonna be a little bit more scatter terrain because this is an ash waste board, uh, a little different than a zone mort or even a, uh, a sector mech board or even the sump, to be perfectly honest. Um, different painting scheme. Uh, here, let me take you to a spin of the spin of the final build product. These guys right here, um, they're pretty big pieces. Um, I'm I'm excited. This is going to be a great little great little build of video for you. Um, thanks so much for stopping by, and here's the video. All right, here we go. Unbagging. Um, yeah, we're using a little bit of uh, old bulkhead plexiglass that I've had for years, um, and I can't get stuff uh, scraped off of it. Um, you know, the nicest part about these 3D prints, and they are just amazing, is just how little detail work you need to do. Um, you know, they go on real fast here, so. We're going ash waste here, so we're gonna be using some filler. Um, I use water putty. Um, that stuff works great for everything in modeling and around your house. Um, yeah, you mix it to uh, whatever consistency you want and then, you know, play with it. And we're using, a, you know, putting it on with a knife and then we're gonna be using that brush there to, to texture things up. After it dries, it's time for the uh, the texturing parts, and that's a bits box, box bash. Um, you know, every one of these that I do, you know, I, I use a little bit of that. So um, I have this footage out here right now because um, I just wanted you to take a look at how I kind of do this. Um, you know, I used all the texturing pastes and, and everything else, and you know, after you buy them for the third time, um, you know, you kind of are wondering why you're spending so much money on stuff. You know, you can you can probably make yourself if you spend an extra five minutes. Um, this is why I went with PVA. Um, you know, kind of back to preschool stuff. Um, it, it works for everything. Um, doesn't eat up anybody's stuff. You can mix it with sand. Um, at this point, I was mixing it a little bit light because I did want a texture on this, but I didn't want to overpower it uh, too much. Um, you'll see the effects that happen with the, uh, the painting later. Um, and yeah, you get some drips. You know, you try to catch things. Um, you know, I try to not have drips. In some cases, especially when you're doing sump terrain and things like that, drips aren't such a bad thing. Um, but I do, you know, do my best to try to catch it. Uh, yeah, you got the doors, the doors glued shut a little bit there, but you know, not that bad. Especially considering, like I said, you're using the PVA glue, so you can just bust them loose and then they'll work just fine. All right, now we're on to the priming stage. Um, yeah, we're going with black for a lot of it. The funny end result of my pre-step paint jobs here is it's gonna kind of look gray <laughs> by the time I get to the oiling. Um, I, I kind of had that effect. The thing is, is the, the camera actually um, doesn't pick up the, uh, the translucency of the look so much. It does on the, the, uh, the hut a little bit more than the shop here. Um, yeah, the shop looks almost exactly the same gray you know, that I, that I did. Uh, so yeah, we got a brown. Now we've got this new terracotta that I've added. Um, this comes into effect with how the powders are going to look after I get done with the next step after this. Oh no, wait, that's right. There's metals still involved. Um, so much fun doing this stuff. I, I just, I, I had a blast putting, this is another one that just came together. Um, got some metallics on here. 
The effect of the metallics is a really subtle on this one. Um, I wanted the ash to be very prominent on this. Um, and I wanted the rust to be very prominent on this. And all right, here we go. We're going to the ash. Um, we have two stages of the ash. We have a base gray that we're putting down here with a little bit of brown and yellow added to it. Um, and then we're gonna go with a lighter version where I just added white and then do spot areas of it. Um, like I said, on the, uh, the hut, it turned out to be a little bit more translucent on the camera, um, but on the shop here, it looks like I got a heck of a lot more coverage than I did. Um, yeah, <laughs> it almost looks like how I started. <laughs> but the next stages we're gonna do with the oil. Um, oh, here we go, we got posters on. Just wanted to do a little spin through on this for, uh, that kind of wasn't very much video-y, but I used Payne's Gray on this and I used it very thin. Um, and then I thinned it as I was putting it on. Um, the, you know, I wanted definition on this, but I wanted more along the lines of the bleakness of the ash wastes. Um, you know, this stuff's supposed to be out and battered, you know. I think I got it. You can definitely see the definition a little bit more. Um, and you can start seeing that under terracotta and brown that I put on, um, especially on this piece as I keep going with this. Um, the powders are what's gonna be pushing this, um, these pieces a lot. Um, it was just a choice that I made. I could have gone a couple of other ways on this, but uh, you know, as always with this stuff, I just kind of start rambling along here and see what pops up. Um, you know, I hope you're enjoying it, but the, the rust on this really popped and I think it has a lot to do with that terracotta undercoat that I did, which you can barely see in these pictures. <laughs> kind of funny enough. But yeah, we've got a rust, we've got a gray, uh, we've got a soot, and we got a little bit of a dirt. Here's the end spins. Um, you know, I, I can't tell you how much fun this was. Uh, and You know, I think they look great. Um, once again, not really standing out, you know, only when they're sitting there, but when they're on the board, um, you know, they're going to be, you know, looking nice. It's gonna enhance the board, um, but not taking away from models. I hope you guys enjoyed these as much as I did making them. Once again, have a great night. Thanks for stopping by and please like and subscribe.